This is Apostle Charlie Reddish. Let's get ready to feast at the table of the Lord. The table is spread, ready for you to come and eat the word of the Lord. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and keep on hearing the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Man should not live by the natural bread, the natural food alone. He must feed his spirit the same way they feed, you feed your natural man in order for you to live spiritually. It must be nourished through the word of God. So we will be reading today from the book of Habakkuk and the book of Zephaniah. The book of Habakkuk and the book of Zephaniah. So let's get ready to feast at the table of the Lord. Commence reading at the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 1. The burden which Habakkuk, the prophet, did see. O Lord, how long shall I cry, and thou shall, will not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why dost thou show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore the law is slack, and judgment does never go forth. For the wicked doth come past about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. Behold ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days which you will not believe, though it be told you. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle that hates to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind. And they shall gather their captivity as the sand. And they shall scoff at the kings. And the princes shall be a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold. For they shall heap dust and take it. Then shall his mind change. And he shall pass over and offend. Imputing this his power unto his God. Art thou not from everlasting? O Lord my God, mine holy one, we shall not die. O Lord, thou hast ordained them for judgment. And O mighty God, thou hast established them for correction. Thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously, and holdeth thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he. And makest men as the fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that have no ruler over them. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net, and gather them in their drag. Therefore they rejoice and are glad. Therefore they sacrifice unto their net, and burn incense unto their drag. Because by them their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nations? I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I and I will watch to see what he will say <clears throat> unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. And make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also 
because he transgressed by wine. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Should not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with the thick clay, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for bodies, bodies unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveted an evil covetous to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. For the stone shall cry out of the wall and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood and establisheth the city by iniquity. Behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayst look on their nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on the glory. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee and the spoil of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. What profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it, the molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. Woe unto him that say to the wood, awake to the dumb stone, arise it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, commencing at verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Signinoth. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, Revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. God came from Teman, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was no hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence, and burning coals went forth at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove under the nations, and the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Kuchan in affliction, and the curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy great wrath against the sea, yet thou ride upon thine horses and thy chariots of salvation. Thy bow was made quite naked, according to the oath of the tribes, even thy sword, Selah. Thou didst cleave the earth with the rivers. The mountains saw thee, and they trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice and lifted up his hands on high. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows they went, and at the shining of thy glittering spear. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst stretch the heathen in anger. Thou went forth to the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. Thou wouldest the head 
out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Selah. Thou didst strike through with his staff the head of his villages. It came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses, through the heap of great waters. When I heard, my belly trembled. My lips quivered at thy voice. Rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself, that I might rest in a day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olives shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places. To the chief singer on my string instruments. Thus I've read the book of Habakkuk. Chapters 1 through 3. I will now commence reading at the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, and verse 1. The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gadaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of his, his kind, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, save the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will call off man from off the land, saith the Lord. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of the Chimerians with the priests, them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops and them that worship and that swear by the Lord and that swear by Melcham, and them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired of him. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has bid his guests, and it should come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed in strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on their threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and the great crashing from the hills. How ye inhabitants of Magtish, and for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. And it should come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that are settled on their leads, that they say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses of desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood should be poured out at dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, 
before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. For Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ascalon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea, the nations of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you. O Canaan, the land of Philistines, I will even destroy thee, that there shall be no inhabitant. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and colleges for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed thereupon in the houses of Ascalon. Shall they lie down in the evening? For the Lord their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. I've heard the reproach of Moab and the revilings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even a breeding of nettles and salt pits and perpetual desolation. The, re the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the owls of the heathen. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by the sw my sword, and he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria, and will make Nineveh a desolation, and try like a wilderness. The flock shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nation, both the cormorant and the bittern, shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. Their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the threshold, for he shall uncover the cedar. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Every one that passes by her shall hiss and wag his head. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, commencing at verse 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. She drew not near to her God. Her princes there were in. Her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till the Mara. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will do not do iniquity. Every morning does he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. I cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste, that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I say, surely thou will fear me. Thou will receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punish them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. But then will I return to the people of pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersion, shall bring mine offering. In that day shall not be ashamed for all the doings wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. The remnant of Israel 
shall not be iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. He has cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slight. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he, rejoice, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of these. To them to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all the afflict that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, save the Lord. Thus I've read the book of Habakkuk and the book of Zephaniah. Thank you, each and every one of you, for tuning in this morning for the reading of the precious word of the Lord to the precious people of the Lord. I pray that something was, you heard something that helped you, that strengthened you, that encouraged you, that motivated you, that filled your spirit. Let's stay focused, let's stay on the right path, and let's just continue to please the Lord in every area that we can please Him in. So thank you all for tuning in. If there's anybody out there that don't know Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, you've been going down the path and seem like the path has been rough and rough and, and not getting any better no matter what you do, no matter what you uh, say. Things haven't gotten any better for you. Like it's, you're likely on a merry-go-round. Well, I'm here today to tell you that God can stop that merry-go-round from going around in a circle and you ended up right back in the same position year after year after year. If you want to see a change, only God can break that merry-go-round circle. And he's willing to do it for you today. Therefore, if you want that change to come into your life, just repeat this prayer after me and receive Christ as your Savior. And God will commence breaking that cycle for you. Just repeat this prayer after me now. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I believe that you died on the cross, gave your life, that I can have life, and that more abundantly. I believe that you shed your blood for, for the redemption of my soul. I thank you, Lord. And I open up the heart, my heart, and I invite you in. Sit upon the throne of my heart. Rule and reign in my life. From this day forward, you be my Lord, you be my master, you be my soon coming king. Help me to live for you from this day forward. And I thank you and I believe that I'm saved right now in Jesus name. Well, neighbor, if you said that simple prayer right there, you are a born again believer. You are now a kingdom of God, a kingdom of head of citizen of the kingdom of God. You are now a child of the most high God. And now God has to look out for you because you are a born again believer. You're under his uh, uh, authority. You're under his care. And so he will change things for you. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you. I invite you to Life Changes Covenant Ministries, 2140 Eleanor Drive, North Charleston, South Carolina. So until the next time, each and every one of you, Jesus loves you. I love you. And may God richly bless you is my prayers. And don't you never, ever, ever forget this. 
Don't call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. God bless you.